In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Andy Roddick Marin Cilic quarterfinal match at the Australian Open, and I'm going to talk about the keys to victory for each player. Roddick and Cilic have played twice before, and each player won one of those encounters. Now, let's briefly talk about each player's playing style. Roddick, of course, has the big serve, big forehand. Backhand is definitely a weaker shot, but it's improved recently. And Roddick's movement is also better as well. Cilic, also a big hitter, but he's got more of a rounded game, more well-rounded game, I guess you could say. He's got a big serve, not as good as Roddick's, but he can hit big more consistently off both the forehand and the backhand wings. If I was going to compare Chilich to any player, I'd say he's very similar to Del Potro. Both are really tall guys, about 6'6", and they hit big, serve, forehand, backhand. Chilich is also a very good mover for a guy as big as he is. Now, let's pivot and talk about the keys to victory for Andy Roddick. And what Andy needs to do is basically stick to the game plan that's worked for him through the first week of the Aussie Open. He needs to serve big and serve a high percentage, around 70%, which he's been doing. He needs to hit his forehand when he gets a look, go after it and really try and dictate play. And he needs to keep rallies neutral on his backhand side. And the way he's been doing that effectively over the course of the tournament is with a lot of variety. He's mixing in topspin backhands with slice backhands. And I think the slice in particular against Chilich will be effective because Chilich at 6'6 is going to have to bend down to get to those balls. And if you watch the Chilich Del Potro match, that five setter is an amazing match, first of all. So if you get a chance to watch it, please do. But Del Potro wasn't slicing the ball too much. He was hitting through it, hitting topspin. That's going to put the ball higher in Chilich's strike zone, and it's going to allow him to go after the ball as well and hit big. And because Chilich is stronger off the backhand side, it makes sense for Roddick to try and keep the ball down and limit Chilich's ability to hit big off the backhand wing. So by using that variety, what Andy wants to do is really work the point and see if he can get around a backhand or, and get to his forehand and go after that and take control of the point in that way. Now, if we transition to Chilich, what does he need to do to win this match? Well, I have some numbers up here, and this is the U.S. Open, last year's U.S. Open. This is this year's Aussie Open. Both those matches were Chilich versus Del Potro. Now, Chilich in the U.S. Open, he lost to Del Potro, and of course, he beat him in the previous round. And when Chilich played Del Potro at the U.S. Open, he hit 29 winners, and 53 unforced errors for a net of negative 24. He made 24 more unforced errors than winners. But in the Aussie Open, this last match, he had 67 winners and 71 unforced errors. So it was a much more respectable ratio. He was only negative four here. So what Chilich needs to do is simply play big and play well. If this is going to be his ratio somewhere in here, Roddick's going to beat him. But if he can really dictate and hit a lot of big shots and hit a lot of winners, then he's going to be in position to do real well. And the question for a guy as young as Chilich, he doesn't have too much big match experience under his belt in the majors. The quarters was where he lost to Del Potro. So this is the second time he's made it to a quarterfinal match. If he starts to be a little errant and make mistakes, what he should do is stick to his game plan but shrink the court and that is what this diagram here that I've drawn illustrates. You take the sidelines, the normal baseline and sidelines, and you just move them in a couple feet and give yourself more margin for error. Because Chilich, if he's not playing well to start, well, he needs to not only keep the ball in play and stop missing and stop giving away points, but he also needs to build his confidence back up. So if he shrinks the court a little bit and gets more balls in, then he'll be more confident over the course of several games and then he can open it up, then he can go back to a more aggressive style and expand the court. So I think a lot of how this match is going to turn out has to do with Chilich's level. If he plays big, the guy's got an enormous game, and he can certainly make this a very interesting match. He can certainly win this match, considering he took out Delpo, who is obviously a phenomenal player. The last thing I want to say regarding Chilich's chances of winning has to do with breakpoint opportunities. Is Chilich going to convert at a nice percentage 
when he gets a look at a break point. Because against Del Potro, he had 16 opportunities to break, only converted four of them, 25%. That's not going to get it done against Roddick. Fernando Gonzalez, when he faced Roddick in the previous round, well, he had four looks at Roddick, at breaking Roddick's serve the entire match. That entire five-set match, four break points. So Chilich is not going to get that many opportunities to break. So he better break. If he wants to win this match, he better capitalize when he gets a look at a break point. So what do I think is going to happen with this match? Well, I think it's going to go five sets. I think it's going to be very close. I think the level is going to be extremely high. And I think Roddick is going to pull it out. And the reason I think Roddick's going to pull it out is pretty simple. He's just not giving guys looks on his serve. Gonzalez played a great match against Roddick. It was ripping winners. Forehand was huge. He hit 83 winners, and he had four break opportunities the entire match. That's astounding when you think about it. So if Roddick maintains his level and Chilich plays big, I just don't see Chilich getting that many opportunities on Roddick's serve, despite the fact that he might be hitting winners left and right. Roddick's just too good right now. I do think we're going to get a lot of tiebreakers where Roddick has a phenomenal record. So I think the fact that Roddick is serving so well, and then you mix in Roddick's experience. He's been here before. He's done this before. He's been playing tight matches, relying on his serve, not really getting too many opportunities at his opponent's service games. I think that experience is what makes the difference. So again, I say Roddick, close, high-quality match, and he takes it, he wins it in five sets. We're giving away an Andy Roddick rookie card, which he has autographed, courtesy of TennisExpress.com, to the person who can best predict the score of this match. So please rate this video and subscribe to our channel, and then post your prediction in the comments below. You have up until when this match starts to make your prediction, so good luck. Want to know the secret to Roger Federer's forehand? Click the link in the description and sign up for our 100% free course.